person. And um, I find that one of the most common dilemmas with most of my clients is that they have a closet full of clothes with nothing, nothing to wear. To wear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, and that to fix that problem, the client will go shopping and try to purchase that magical piece that's going to fix the problem and buy a piece here, buy a piece there, and um, what in reality is actually happening is they're making the problem even worse and they end up with more and more pieces and the ending result is all these puzzle pieces of garments for more than one jigsaw puzzle in the closet, okay? And things aren't just working out in the closet, it becomes overwhelming and a little stressful and before you have a luncheon with your friends, you're in your on your bed and in your closet trying different things on and before you leave you have nine things on the bed that you're not wearing for one reason or another and you might not be able to pinpoint why but you've done 15 minutes of trying on so what i would like to do today what i'm going to share with you for the next 25 30 minutes is how to build a functional which is where the science part comes in and a fashionable wardrobe which is where the art comes in and we're going to do that in a very minimalistic, simple guideline way, and it begins with a foundation. Now, and the foundation is going to be, of course, it always starts on the bottom, so we're going to start with pants, what you wear on the bottom. But before any scientist or artist begin their creation, they start with a clean work area, and so should your closet be also. So let me just take a little side moment and explain to you that it is very important that your closet is, imagine your closet with everything in there 100% wearable, meaning it's not too big, it's not too small, it doesn't have a stain, it's a great color, uh, everything about it is perfect and it can be worn at any given time. You should, my goal for my clients is to walk in the closet and they should be able to close their eyes and pick anything up and put it on and walk out of their house and be photographed. Okay, so so I'm here to give you all permission to purge. Okay, purging is very healthy. No garment should have an issue, an issue of a broken zipper, or it's too short, but I love the collar, or I just love this blouse, but the neckline, my bra shows every time. And you put it back in your closet, and you think the magic garment fairy is going to come and fix it overnight, <laughs> and you know, a year later, it's still in there with the same Bursting issue. My so we, we don't want issues, no issues in the closet. And let me show you what I mean. Get your bag next to your closet and you go through your closet and you say you know I really like this blouse but it has this big grease stain on it so guess what it's going to go and you just put it in a bag and you are going to gift away these things but Not you give might want to wear it under a sweatshirt <laughs> 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 and you know what you can get demoted to that <laughs> you can demote your clothes to gardening clothes painting clothes jogging clothes parade clothes underneath the sweatshirt clothes <laughs> but be careful that you don't need more than just a few of those because I have clients that will say oh that's a, you know hang around the house so that's a this mm -hmm. and I'm like okay you have more of those than you have of what you're gonna wear out of the house um, you know or very dated items okay Circa oh, 19 bags can come out <laughs> but it's very boxy and the print is very you know 1980. Um, uh, doesn't fit, perhaps. Okay. Now, these things that I'm putting in the bag are going to things that are going to be donated and bless another. They're gift aways. Never think you're giving something away. You're transferring the value from yourself. You're not getting any value out of these, but transfer the value to somebody else who could absolutely use these pieces. Okay. Or if you have higher end nice things, you can consign them. Okay, there's lots of consignment shops, and I can tell you all some great ones. Refine on Gerard Street in Mandeville. Okay, these have stains on it. You could demote our painting stains, demote it to a painting shirt, or just allow yourself to give it away. Okay, dated, etc. Pants with pleats, 
a camisole that rides up on you all the time or has a shelf bra, but it's quality, it's in there, but you're not wearing it. All of these, take them away. That's your first perch. If you'll notice, is the organizational part of it. You see all these funky wire hangers? Those are going too. Look, notice all the hangers here are now all the same. And what a difference that makes in a closet, just, you know, the rubber bands. When you're shopping at a clothing store, let's pick a store like Talbot's, for example, do you go in there and all their clothes are on these kind of hangers? You would not shop there. It would be hard to shop. You couldn't shop the store. It would be chaos, okay? Your closet should look the same as a clothing store. I get these hangers. These are my favorite clear plastic swivel hangers. They're clear so the light in your closet shows through. They are not colored. I get them online, 100 for $40 a case for of 100 okay? These are my favorite kind of pant hangers if you do a folding over. Lillian Vernon, $12 for 12, or $14 for 12 of them. But do you see the, the zen of the hangers? That's one, one good step. Okay, done, no issues. These are gone out of your closet. You will not miss them, I promise. 